what the state of play is, let's uh, speak to uh, Ron Knox. He's a senior researcher at the Institute of Local Self-Reliance, a uh, non-profit organisation. And uh, thank you very much for coming on the programme. It's great to be here. Thank you. Now, you are not a fan of monopolies and big organisations like this. So what do you make of this trial uh, coming to court? Well, it's a huge deal. Um, it's the biggest monopoly trial in a generation, for sure. Uh, and uh, it mirrors some of the largest monopoly trials involving technology firms in the history of the country. That includes the government's case against Microsoft in the late 1990s. Uh, and of course, the case against AT&T in the 70s and early 80s that ultimately ended with the breakup of Ma Bell, as the company was known back then. Uh, so that's the magnitude. It's consequential. It's high profile. And it's the government's first crack at using the courts to really rein in the power uh, of the big tech monopolies. And that includes not only Google, but Facebook, Amazon and Apple. Uh, it's a major moment for regulators and a major moment for the industry. OK, so we'll come back to the specifics of the case in just a second. But more broadly, what in your eyes is the problem with monopolies effectively? Very, very large companies having lots of influence over different areas. Well, I mean, let's start with the case of Google, right? What's the problem with Google's monopoly and the way that it has allegedly uh, abused that monopoly power, according to the government? Well, it cuts off innovation, right? It cuts off new firms from entering the market, competing for customers, trying to provide uh, a better search engine, a better user experience, all of those kinds of things. Uh, if the facts that the government alleges are true in the Google case, right, if Google did offer all this money to the, um, you know, smartphone uh, and device makers to make its search engine the default option on their phones, then no, that, you know, that means that no other option really gets a chance in the market to compete on fair terms. That means people can't use Bing if they want two people can't use DuckDuckGo, lots of other options out there. Not only can people not use those options, but new new options, new entrepreneurs, new startups that might want to enter, build a better search engine, build a more innovative product, they look at the market and they say, we're not going to get into this. We're not going to spend this money and waste this time just to try to compete with Google's 90% share of the market. Those okay. kinds of issues you find across, uh, you know, across the big tech sector and unfortunately lots of sectors. Let's, we're, we're clearly not going to make any comment on this specific case in terms of the outcome, uh, because that is way, way in, in the future. Say, though, uh, it is unsuccessful. Google uh, prove their point. Google win, effectively. Uh, what do you think that means for the landscape? Well, I mean, it would be disheartening, I think, for folks who want to see uh, open, free, and fair markets, uh, not just in the big tech space, but across the economy. It would also certainly be disheartening for the government that spent many, many years investigating Google and 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 has built this case uh, on facts that it thinks are true and, and, and that violate the law. But the fact that it's disheartening doesn't mean that um, it's you know, a roadblock or a barrier to uh, addressing monopoly issues in, you know, other parts of, of of the big tech world, right? There's a Facebook case out there that's trying to get that company to spin off Instagram and WhatsApp. There's another Google case involving uh, its monopoly power in the online advertising sector. And as I said, there are monopoly problems throughout the economy. I think that uh, the regulators, the enforcers that are in place right now under the Biden administration uh, are dedicated to fighting monopoly power. And I think they'll continue doing it regardless of the outcome of this case. OK, it's a fascinating issue, certainly. Thank you very much for coming on the programme.